Hello, friend. Good morning. What a wonderful day to live and glorify God. And I greet all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He, in His mercy and faithfulness, has given us another day to live and enjoy His presence and experience His faithfulness and His love so that we can rise um, above the present level in our faith. So I would like to meditate with you this morning and also tomorrow morning about faith, especially levels of faith. The New Testament teaches that there are three levels of faith. A believer's faith is God-directed, whereas an unbeliever's faith is self-directed. Your faith affects your relationship with God and also your relationship with your fellow men. And your faith affects your peace, your handling of your situations as you face them. And uh, your faith affects the way you live. It is important for your faith to rise. Someone's faith remains the same level where it began maybe 50 years ago or 40 or 30, 20 years ago. It never rise above where they start. And that shows that you are, you are very poor in your spiritual health. Consider the healing ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you look into these uh, few passages that I'm going to mention, Matthew chapter 9 verse 22, and again chapter 15 verse 28, and then the gospel according to St. Mark chapter 10 verse 52. If you read these passages, the same things, I think, is mentioned there. Jesus always healed people in response to their faith. As you move from one level of faith to the another level, your life is going to change. And it is going to change your relationship. It is going to change the way you love people and it is going to change your relationship with others and with one another because it is expected as your faith level increases your level of love and relationship and uh, uh, your, uh, your, your, your attitude everything will change along with the change you experience in your faith. And um, let us consider what are these three levels of faith. Number one, today we shall consider the first level. The first level of faith is little faith. Little faith is struggling faith. It is restless. It is hoping, but not really sure, very sure of. And uh, it believes, but never trusts. Little faith is wrestling faith, struggling faith, laboring faith. You have faith, but these are uh, adjectives that you use for that, this little faith. The reason it is struggling is because we focus on our circumstances. It focuses on ourselves rather than what God has promised or what God has said. What did God say? Read these passages again. Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 and the same chapter, verses 29 and 30. And then the, the same gospel, chapter 8, verses 22 to 20, 27. And then again, Matthew chapter 16, verses 5 to 8. And again, 
the same chap uh, uh, Matthew chapter 17 verses 19 and 20 and then the gospel according to St. Mark chapter 9 verses 20 to 24. Now all these passages if you read you will have an idea about what I am talking about. Our, our, our focus where is our focus? On ourselves or on our circumstances or on what God has promised and what God said he would do. And our focus of attention has to be right. And if we all the time focus on ourselves and our circumstances and our situations, we say rather than look to God, and listen to him and see what God has promised and what God is able to do for each one of us. And then our faith will be different. Now, does it mean that God is not going to answer our prayers because of the deficiency he sees in our faith? No. See, God is very merciful and he's very kind. He is concerned about and so he will answer and meet your need. But at the same time, we must also understand he does not expect you to remain in the same level of faith all the time. As you experience God's goodness and God's mercies and God's miraculous way of protecting you, providing for you, healing you, it is expected that you raise your level of faith knowing that God is faithful and he, would do, he will do what he said he would do. And he never changes. We change us. I mean, we change, but God does not change. And so his promises never change. Once he promised, he always remembers and he will fulfill it. And therefore, let us experience God's mercy. That is true. But at the same time, it is also expected that you grow in your faith level. Now, Jesus Christ always had a problem with his disciples concerning faith. Disciples seem to have and possess always little faith. So very often, he has to struggle with them. Every situation came, they expressed their helplessness. And so Jesus had to tell them, Oh, ye of little faith. And once he even said, How long you expect me to be with you? I have been with you all these long months and, and uh, three years. Still you are in the same level of faith. That was very disappointing. And my friends, this is true of many of us. And Jesus mostly found a little faith among his own disciples, among his own believers and followers. And uh, how about the religious leaders, the Jewish leaders? They almost had no faith in him at all. How sad it was. As the Bible says, he came to his own, but his own did not recognize him, therefore did not welcome him. And it is also said in many times, in many places, Jesus was not able to perform any miracles because of their unbelief. And unbelief is, is a deliberate act of rejecting what they need to believe. It is a deliberate, their doubt, it is not just doubt. Doubt can be cleared. You know, you explain and then uh, one can come out of doubts. But unbelief is not doubt. Unbelief is a deliberate uh, condition of rejecting what God has promised and rejecting God's word and nothing can change them. And therefore, where do they stand as far as level of faith is concerned? 
they stand right at the bottom of the zero. And that is why they did not accept Jesus. And that's why Jesus were not able to do many miracles when they were in their midst. Now little faith is a faith with doubts. It is wavering faith. Little faith easily give up. Little faith has no patience. And they expect God to do something immediately, the moment they ask. And my friends, as we continue this study tomorrow, I pray that you will rise in your faith so that in the days to come, you will jump from one level of faith to the next higher level of faith. This is expected of you because knowing Jesus and knowing his promises and knowing his nature of unchangeableness, he is an unchanging God. You can trust Him. So I pray that God will be pleased in your growth. May the Lord bless you. And I sincerely pray that you will find uh, the, the days ahead of you more exciting, more challenging, and uh, having more faith and uh, 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 greater courage to face life's challenges by faith and read Hebrews chapter 11 it is uh, it is, it is uh, uh, a list of heroes of faith and notice what faith has accomplished amazing unbelievable things men and women have done because they chose to rise in their level of faith. God bless you as you do the same thing. Heavenly Father, we are human beings. Sometimes our human weaknesses and in our, our inability to rise above our circumstances and our situation, causing us to uh, lose out what God has planned for us. Let it not be the case in the days to come, O oh Lord. And we commit ourselves into your hand so that we shall experience a higher level of faith in you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Friend, God bless you. This is a great day. Enjoy this day by the grace of God. Amen.